welcome to the Counterattack playthrough series of Washington's War. This is the 1778 turn, which is turns one, two, three, four, turn four. 1778. Um, we start it with the uh, reinforcement phase. British get eight reinforcements. Whoa. So eight coming into the British box here. Next is the strategy cards phase. Um, let's take a look at what the British have drawn. Three ops, three ops, three ops. Hmm, coastal raids, let's see. Looks like you can flip or remove stuff from ports. Um, 1783, gosh darn it. It's kind of open for an early win. Uh, or, you know, go for 1780, which is the current end year. But I have to play that. Why not? Okay, so just lots of ops plus that coastal raid. Okay, so they decline to go first because they can't. Americans. Um, I mean, technically, I guess this is the strategy phase. And we're trying to see who goes first. Uh, three, two, two. Um, let's see, is this good? Maybe played by the British player. Oh, it's British. After the European War. That's not going on yet. Uh, two ops, one ops. This is an American uh, combat card because it's got a blue rectangle. Okay, that might be cool. Save that for a good moment. Okay. Um, Americans, what is the situation in early 1778? Well, you know, I don't know. Feels like it's starting to swing American way. Got some generals out. They're all withering though. I think they're gonna let the British go first, is that what I want? So let me, let's just see. So if Cornwallis was activated with his three units to go attack this guy at Lynch's Ferry, F2, he could do pretty well. And then he can go one, two, three, four to attack Arnold, who only has one unit. And they aren't great retreaters. Okay, but I mean, what's the Americans gonna do though? They can move one or the other. So I guess that's nothing to do. American military forces are not very strong right now. Um, we're going to let the British go first. I think the British are going to um, maybe bring in some reinforcements. Uh, they have some one-ops cards. Not very good. Their generals can't use them. So bring in that. So we have eight reinforcements. How many of those do I want to bring in? I don't have any generals off map. Um, you know, maybe we'll bring in five. I don't know. Let's see. Where would I want them? Could bring them into New York there. Um, and that would give Clinton, you know, a little more leeway in moving out, maybe to attack Washington or something. Although, how? how um, what's he got? He's got four. Now, this guy's a better general all the way around, but harder to order to get moving. Cornwallis is decent because he only needs twos to activate. Hmm. Maybe we'll bring... Maybe we'll bring all eight. All eight in with Cornwallis. Now he's up to 11. No, he can only bring five with him when he's moving. That leaves a nice little stack that he can always retreat to and pick up more troops. Is that what I want? You know, I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe he's going to stay there. Maybe it's better to like have a pool of troops near where all your generals are, so if any of them take losses, they can just walk through it and pick them up. Maybe that's better. So where would be a good place to bring in a pool of troops? Um, well, no real great place. I think we'll just bring him into New York with Clinton. <clears throat> you know, this might be silly. Um, okay, that's that. American turn, I think they're going to still wait and see. They're going to play this British card as a discard. Um, the European war is not in effect. I think it will only own effect once the French join the war. So um, we'll go ahead and discard it. It's not going to, the event won't trigger or anything. Um, and we're going to use that to flip this guy down in Georgia. Why am I doing that? And I'm doing it from here, so they have to be adjacent. Um, I'm trying to solidify the south here. So now I've got a good wall here. Like The British can't, can't get past there now. I've got all the ports. Now they certainly can discard cards like I just did to try to flip them. Um, flip the ports, but that, you know, that's tough to do. It takes a... A lot of effort, relatively, compared to other kinds of actions. So now these guys are sort of isolated into like a little 
beachhead here. And these guys have a decent beachhead with a lot of ways to get in, but the Americans are solidifying. Okay, I like what's happening. And British, um, here's the British hand here. Just as a reminder, they have three, three ops, so they can move their generals around. They got this one op, which is borderline useless for them. They have to play this, that's a useless card for them. This coastal raid thing looks interesting. So what I was thinking is, um, so Delaware is a single space colony. In this coastal raid, I can remove two American um, markers from a port space, from port spaces, or I can flip one um, as long as there's no American unit there. So I think I'm gonna play that to flip Wilmington. So now I have a unit there. And if the Americans don't do anything, I could, you know, maybe ship some troops into there and make it tough to get them out. This is also a port. Um, so there's a little plus one for having militia because I control the colony, plus one for the ships. Um, yeah, and I like that plus one for regulars. Okay, so Delaware has flipped. The Americans, um, I think they're gonna uh, play a three op for to reinforce. That's their s first reinforcement. Three op means three reinforcements. I'm gonna bring him into Arnold here. Get him up to four. Um, my thinking is, well, keep keep this wall pushing up. So we got it up to here. I wanna kind of push into here. And I'm thinking I might attack Cornwallis. So that's sort of my, just try to trick Cornwallis. So there's a lot of troops, all the British troops are up here, right? So maybe I could just keep pressuring Cornwallis with the reinforcements. Next turn will be one for the British. Following that five, so that's a good size, but so Cornwallis is gonna be on his own for a little bit. Um, unless, uh, you know, we can ship troops down to him or something, but that's my thought. Okay, British. Um, we're gonna use one of our three ops cards to activate a general. But we're gonna go ahead and activate Carlton. Carlton hasn't done anything this whole game. He's been sitting there for years in Quebec protecting it. So he's gonna go one, two, three. So I feel like this is a situation like green can't retreat. He's, you know, he's just, he. I just knocked green out. He has to surrender. Um, so he's going to the captured general's box. That's so that he can't go back to the reinforcements up there with all the other American generals. So he's, in, he's captured. The, at the reinforcement phase, he'll go into the American reinforcement pool. So Carlton is on the warpath with his two CU. He's in Norwich. Okay. Ooh, got a dead soldier here. Americans, uh, they got three two ops, one one op, and a Morgan's rifleman. I think I'm gonna do the one op. Oh no, yeah, one op. One op to activate Arnold, who is a dynamic individual. That's why he only needs one op. I remember I reinforced him up to four, so he's gonna go on the warpath. One. Ooh, ooh, this is this is scary. Um, I didn't plan this out very well, so um, I was gonna have him come up and attack Cornwallis, but there's no friendly controlled space next to Cornwallis, so if he loses, he will be captured. Do I want to risk that? Can he get up there? Yeah, he, he can attack from various locations, but what about this Gates character? He's only got two. Well, it doesn't matter. So Cornwallis is, you know, I didn't really do this on purpose, but Cornwallis has like surrounded himself with a nice barrier of um, control markers that makes it very deadly to attack him. Very risky. But you know what? Arnold is going to do it anyway. He's going to go one, two, three, four. Now the British cannot try to withdraw from battle. Um, so, we got the battle. And for this battle, um, unlike in the prior tur uh, turn, I'm going to do it in the right order, which is the attacker first gets a choice, the ability to discard a combat card or an event card to try to get a little bonus. Uh, basically, it's plus two or plus one, depending on whether it's a combat card or event card. Well, we're going to do the combat card. This is Morgan's Rifleman. So one nice thing about it, besides the plus two die roll modifier for the long-range rifleman, um, is the American player draws a strategy card at the end of the active player's impulse, which is the Americans. So um, it's sort of like I get to trade this in for another card. So I'm going to put that on top of the draw pile just to remind myself. So that's plus two for the Americans. The British do not have an event card. Um, they have this event card, but it's a special event card. You can't use it for battle. 
So um, let me remind myself what the American should be doing here. So um, I'll roll the die in a second, but uh, let's roll the die to see how well Arnold's going to behave. On a one to three, he's going to not be doing so hot. Got a six. Okay, so Arnold's going to have his full attack strength of three. Number of combat units is four, so that's seven. He did not intercept. Um, this is in Virginia. Virginia is, I'm looking at the little model down here. Um, where's Virginia? Virginia is British, or sorry, American, so it gets plus one. Sorry, that was three. Plus four is seven. Plus one for militia, that's eight. Plus two for the battle card, that's nine. Nine plus his die roll. So let's do that. Oh, one, so ten. Okay, I'm trying to remember it's a 10. Okay, now let's check out uh, Cornwallis. Yeah, he's got a lot of bonuses, so um, this isn't gonna be so hot. Um, I'm gonna lose my entire army, we'll see. Got a three. Three combat units. Uh, Cornwallis, his combat is four. Let's see how well he's doing, five. So he's at full strength, so four. So four plus, um, what was it again? Three, seven. British regulars, eight. Royal Navy support, nine. No militia. He, oh, and he had no event card, so nine. Plus nine to whatever he rolls. So if he rolls a one, that would be a tie. And uh, I believe ties go to the attacker. <laughs> so five and six chance, he, the British win. Rolled a two, so just barely enough to win. Wow. Okay, so let's check out the situation. Casualties for the loser. I'm gonna roll a die. A two minus one combat unit. It's not going to matter though, because then, yeah, this is silly. I don't know, high risk. I feel I needed to try to get, kick Cornwallis out. Now these guys have to retreat back to where they attacked from. It's British. They surrender. The combat units are removed. Arnold goes to the surrendered units box. Okay, now let's check out the casualties of the winner. Um, Arnold's. Um, Agility rating was a two, so on a one to three, the winner loses a combat unit. Got a six, so no no losses. Oh, ouch. Okay, and then the Americans um, draw a strategy card for that combat card they played. William Pitt urges peace talk, so that's not a good one. Okay, now for the British. Um, it's gonna do a three op. Activated general. So, you know, I got a lot of generals up here, and I just want to like slowly push them this way. And one issue is there's no American generals up there about Washington. He needs to protect the Congress. You know, maybe I shouldn't be protecting the Congress so much and not worry about it since there's so many political control markers on the board now. But um, if he goes after any one of them, the others could get in into Philadelphia. Although, you know, only one is really in close range, but um, Philadelphia is a fortified port, so I can't just sail into it. So um, I'm thinking, you know, Howe's way back here. I'm going to activate Howe for four. Um, so I could move him forward and do what I'm saying, keep pushing this way. I could also just send Howe somewhere else. So yeah, that's one thing I wanted to try is like... Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna take Howe, it's four dudes. Sail from Newport to Wilmington, Delaware. Lock Delaware down. Maybe that's a better choice. Right next to Washington. Um, yeah, that's it. Americans have three two ops cards plus this pro-British card. Um, so they'll save that for a little bit later. Yeah, what do we wanna do here? Um, I've already made one horrible mistake. You know, I think I'm gonna... Hmm, hmm. This is my thinking. I wanna, I need to try to get the French Alliance in. You know, maybe I don't need to, but... Um, <clears throat> to that end... Well, I was thinking I'd try to bring in reinforcements to Gates and have Gates do another attack, but you know, I need to clear these things out if I'm gonna attack over there. So that's just silly. So maybe we'll play a two ops to bring in reinforcements, and that's another American reinforcement. We get two, two of these guys, and I'm gonna pull in a general 
We got uh, a bunch of mediocre generals. Bring in Lafayette. Who I thought was French. I just don't know my history, man. Um, maybe he's French, but considered an American. Um, okay, so let's bring him in. He's going to come into Wilmington here. He's in range of Cornwallis. You know, I would also, I would almost want Cornwallis to come down here to try to attack him. Um, so Gates can come in this way. I, you know, I don't know. Uh, our troops are just so wimpy. So Cornwallis will be one, two, three, four. So Cornwallis could get to here. So maybe I'll bring him in. Hmm. Hmm. It doesn't have to be a port, actually. So maybe I'm not thinking about this right. Maybe I'll we'll get some. Actually, I'll just. Hmm. Ay, ay, ay. We'll just come in here. Okay, so. Let's get some supporting general. I could even combine them if I need to. Um, can get around. We'll see. The British, we're going to try to save our three ups card. So. Um, you know, in fact, I think I'll try to save our one ups card too. We're going to play this. Just get this thing out of the way. 1783. So the game has just been extended by three years, unfortunately. Okay, um, that was the British. Now for the Americans, got to do another one of our two ops cards. And what do we want to do? I think we want to do is keep pushing people north. Keep pushing the American cause north. Activate gates, two armies, two control CUs. You know, risks Cornwallis coming out to attack him. He's gonna come down to North Carolina here. He's gonna sit there in Hillsborough convert it during the uh, political control phase. British, uh, they'll spend their one ops and save their three ops for last. And the one ops, well, um, one thing they can do, they can expand political control from Wilmington into Baltimore. Or they could have kind of done it from a port too. I don't know why I didn't do that earlier. So that takes Maryland out into neutral. Let's see, where is Maryland? Okay situation here yes Americans are losing okay now the Americans British still have one card left so the Americans are gonna play two ops what do we want to do I'm just gonna keep Washington there it's a little scary you know Washington's actually cut off a bit um, theoretically the British guy could go here Washington will be cut off, and if someone attacks him and forces him to retreat, um, he's dead, but i got a plan for that. Um, I think we'll activate Lafayette with his two units. Got to make use of them before they wither away. Um, is there any good like places to cut British units off? Not really. One, two... We'll just... You know, Cornwallis might go after either one of these guys, so I might as well just, who cares which one, if it happens. He's just going to come into Richmond and keep the pressure on. Okay. Okay, British three ops. Do they want to attack Washington? Clinton has a lot of troops here. He, he could come around the back here and attack, and so if he had to retreat, he'd go back here, but then he wouldn't be in winter quarters. Risks getting knocked out of the game on the next turn. Um, these guys only have four. You know, doesn't seem like a good bet to do attacks, and maybe it's just because I'm too squeamish. Uh, it's better just to keep maneuvering around and entice the enemy to attack you. So, we got up here, we got Burgoyne with two, got Carlton with two. Burgoyne is in not in wintering quarters, so maybe we'll get, get him moving. So he can go four, so we'll activate him. Um, or I can have Cornwallis come down here and just trounce one of those generals and just prevent losing some of those markers. Tough choice. I think we're going to have Burgoyne go, though. Um, he's got two, so we can get him into wintering quarters. Okay, so I think Bourgoin's gonna go uh, 
One, two, three, two, Fort Stanwix. Is that what I want? You know, maybe he'll stay in Albany here. Better take his troops along with him. Since Albany's connected to other things. Um, okay. Now the Americans' last card. Um, they're going to do a discard of this British William Pitt or just peace talks. Um, and let's see, reshuffle deck at the end of this turn. I think that you do that regardless of what happens. I'll double check on that though. I think they'll do a uh, removal of a British marker. We'll remove um, Boston. That, well, let's see. That would cancel out British control of Massachusetts. You know, maybe instead we'll go from Springfield down to, ooh, go from uh, Massachusetts down to, what is this? Lexington and Concord to Newport. So we'll knock Rhode Island out instead. Um, okay, so let's see the situation here. Where's Rhode Island? There we go. Okay, uh, that was the end of the strategy phase. Uh, by the way, clarification on that one card. Um, since it was discarded, the reshuffle uh, does not occur. I went and looked that up. So it just goes into the discard area. So now, um, winter attrition. So let's see here. We'll just kind of go down to the bottom of the board over here. Um, here's Gates. Got one or two units. Drops down to one. Then uh, Cornwallis is in winter quarters. Lafayette is in winter quarters, but it doesn't matter. Loses half his force. Um, Hose in winter quarters. Washington winter quarters. Winter quarters. Winter quarters. Winter quarters. Okay. Uh, next is the French naval phase. The French are still not in the game. In fact, the French alliance track is still at zero, so uh, I'm doing something wrong. And uh, following that is the political control phase. So uh, let's look at generals um, that are on foreign markers. So um, North Carolina here flips. Um, what is that? Hillsborough. So that was three, four. So uh, North Carolina is um, American. Uh, before it was uh, tied. Okay, and then uh, let's see, Cornwallis is on red. Lafayette here with his one troop flips uh, Richmond. Okay, Virginia is currently um, American, still is. Okay, these are okay. Um, hmm, Burgoyne is flipping Albany. Let's take a look at New York, British have one, two, three, four. Americans have one, two, three. Yep. So British have taken New York. Okay, now uh, checking isolation. I don't think anything's isolated. Um, I'm looking at all the Americans first. Americans are actually doing pretty good back there. Um, up north, they're not doing so hot, but uh, I Oh, we do have an isolation situation here. Uh, Saratoga is melting away uh, because it, it can only trace through British. So Saratoga's out. Um, these guys are okay because it can trace to these empty spaces. Um, these guys, oh, oh man, um, I'm in trouble here. Uh, they can trace to uh, Newport. You know, I wasn't even paying attention to that kind of thing. Um, so they're hanging on, but they're in jeopardy. Um, everything else looks good. Um, British, British, all good, all good. Okay. Um, finally is the uh, end phase. So we'll get rid of these cards here um, and advance the turn marker to 1799 and I'll catch you on the next turn.